What's up everybody? Solomon here. It's about four o'clock in the morning, so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet. Don't want to wake the wife and kid. But we're going today, heading all the way over to Boise, Idaho, and we're gonna be picking up my brand new 1970 Ford F-250. I wanted to bring you guys along, that way you could be part of the entire journey with me. And uh, I'm pretty excited. So right now we're waiting on the Uber, then we're gonna go pick up Simi, and we're heading to the airport. So stick around and enjoy this video. All right, Uber just got her. And so did Simi. Hello. So yeah, this is about to be great. baggage claim and then uh, you guys will see why we just made this whole trip all the way out here all right so we just got out the airport over here in Boise and uh, now you guys are gonna see why I made the trip all the way out here Simi you think everybody's gonna uh, gonna appreciate it I think you're gonna like what you're gonna see I know I'm gonna like what I see we're walking up on it now gonna keep you guys in suspense for a little bit longer Nice to meet you too. Pleasure. Hello, dude. Tell me, Josh. Looks it. It's a 1970 Ford F250 crew cab sitting on a 1996 Dodge 2500 HD. So we just traveled for about eight hours on a plane. We're now out here in beautiful Boise, Idaho, and uh, we came to check out this beautiful truck. It's a 1970 Ford F250 crew cab. And uh, I'm really excited about it. I saw it posted on Facebook about a month, month and a half ago. And uh, I was just like, damn, that thing is beautiful. So I reached out to the guy. We've been talking back and forth for a while. And uh, after all this quarantine stuff kind of settled down a little bit, I booked a flight out here. And this is the dude who built this awesome truck or had it built. So he's gonna tell us a little bit about the truck. I don't know, you know, how good he is in front of the camera. I'm not that great in front of the camera. So he's gonna tell us a little bit. So what made you uh, what made you want to do something like this? My friend, so Jimmy who owns old iron, gas and diesel, and then Josh Human with modern timber, they're both into old trucks and um, my wife's uncle had this truck sitting in his yard with weeds as tall as the hood and I just asked him if I could buy it from him and bought it and then started working with Jimmy and Josh on what it would take to build something like they have and spent some time finding the exact 96 Dodge 2500 with the extended cab long bed like Jimmy needed to to build it and found that and took them both trucks and let them start doing his magic. So what exactly is it? Can you give us a little walk around, tell us a little bit about it? Sure, so everything underneath the body and bed is, is that 96 Dodge 2500. Um, the only thing on here that's 1974 F250 is the cab in the bed and then the interior. So the suspension, motor mounts, body mounts, all that stuff is from the 96 Dodge. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, so he, I don't know exactly what he did, but he worked his magic and it all fit perfectly chopped a little bit off the end for the bumper um, but that's it in the snapshot and he also redid the interior it's original style but it's all nice and cleaned up so has to do a little bit of work to it but uh, it's definitely got the bones and uh, we're about to head home on a 2600 mile road trip so we're here in Boise and we're going to be heading all the way back to Miami. But wait, there's more. What is there? There's a compass. It's called a compass. Yeah. So 
This thing has a 5.9 turbo diesel out of the 96. It's original, hasn't really been messed with, which I'm happy about because sometimes guys just go nuts with them and then looks, you know, it's not reliable. I plan on dailying this thing. So uh, I'm gonna wrap it up over here and uh, you guys are gonna see a bunch of cool videos and clips along the whole road trip back. So I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, checking this out and stay tuned. All right, so now the truck's officially mine and uh, me and Simi just got over here filling up the first fuel or and uh doesn't really want to take fuel that easily it keeps stopping it's something's with the fill line so we're going to address that when we get to Devin's house later on uh it had three quarters of a tank and i put in you know, four almost four gallons and that took me like five minutes or so so we'll figure it out uh we got a bunch of snacks and stuff now and we're going to be hitting the road we got about a four hour drive until we get to Devin's house he's in idaho falls right now we're in boise so yeah, we're gonna hit the road and we'll see you guys in a bit. So we were told, since we're anyways passing through, we have to stop into Craters of the Moon. And uh, this place is pretty, pretty cool. Just parked over here at Craters of the Moon. So happy with the truck, how it's driving. We've so far put about 185 miles on it, and uh, flawless. absolutely flawless. So now me and Simi are gonna go do a little hike, and uh, gonna bring you guys along. So yeah, come on. What's the problem, Sim? What, what are you? What's the? What's the issue? Saying, you, you know, you advance your. You know, your toy level and then your skill level becomes advanced too. You don't know that I'm up on hikes, huh? I don't know you're a hiker. Of course, that's what we do. Not bad. Four minutes and twenty seconds from the truck here. What? Yeah, look, timer. Four twenty. That's it. It's not bad at all. Whew. A little out of breath, but uh, I think it was good. That was nice. Yeah, definitely that way is the path. We took the wrong way. You guys see the truck all the way over there? Ah. <sighs> Alright guys, so we pulled up to Devin's house a couple hours ago. We recorded a podcast. It's actually going to go live tomorrow. Um, and then now we're going to switch out the bumper on Goldust. I actually got the chrome bumper for it. So it's going to be pretty cool. But let me show you a little bit of what Devin's got going on. He's got his awesome coyote powered two wheel drive Bronco here in the garage. He's got a couple little puppies over here. So yeah, we're gonna get cranking on this a little bit. Switch out the bumper, try to break up some of the color. A lot of gold going on over here. So yeah. All right, so what we just figured out after uh, taking off some of the bolts is that the bumper has some custom-made bracketry. And uh, we definitely could weld up to make it work tonight. You can see that it's got some brackets made, but we're just not going to. Also the chrome bumper, is a little bit uh, rougher than I thought it was going to be. So I'll find a better one and then throw it on there. Um, but figured we'd show you guys. Probably won't include this, but I might include this. So yeah. <laughs> so you over here being my lighting guy. What's up? All right. So since the bumper didn't work out and I still want to add some chrome to the back of this truck, I got the All American Billet uh, taillight lens bezels, I guess. I'm going to throw those on. They should work. Unlike the bumper, these should work. So, really easy to install. I guess all I need is a Phillips screwdriver. So yeah. So what you gotta do is you gotta take the old Phillips out. Real difficult, as you can see. All right, now you leave the bezel in place. that in 
place. Just like that. You take this one. You take the longer screws that they provide. I mean, how much easier can you really get? That literally took like 30 seconds. But if you don't believe how easy and quick that was, we're gonna show you this in real time. Here, Sim, grab it. Bum -ba -da -bum. All right, now check this out. Real time, I don't know how long this is gonna take. Shouldn't take that long, watch it take forever. That's it, literally, that's it. So now how much cooler does it look? I think it looks way cooler. So yeah, a little bit of uh, color breakage and you know, I don't know, I'm just rambling on at this point.